Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a movie review. This movie is a horror film from Spain, Spanish language English subs, released in the year 2014, directed by Juan May Belaguero, and this film is called Rec 4 Apocalypse. So Rec 4 Apocalypse is the movie that concludes the franchise. Uh, if you've seen the franchise, you know it's about zombies and there's all these other sort of uh, problems that these people have faced, and it's so much more than just a normal zombie outbreak. So basically, Rec 4 Apocalypse takes place after the second one, well after the first one I should say, Angela Vidal, the main character of the first movie, the, the reporter, she has been found inside this, the apartment complex uh, by some uh, SWAT team members, and so she has taken on board this ship that spe uh, specialises in quarantine. So they take her to the ship, they're doing tests, and they're finding what this virus is all about, but then it turns out that there is more to this virus than they first thought, and it is going to prove very deadly because soon the outbreak happens on this ship, and being in the middle of the ocean, there is nowhere left to run. So Angela and Co are going to have to try and fight their way out of this. So whether or not they can do that, something you're going to have to find out for yourself, because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Rec 4. This franchise started off really well. With the first Rec film, I thought that it captured everything that terror is. Basically, it was a found footage horror film, and it was just really fast-paced. And it, it gave a little bit of a build-up, but when the action started, it just hit you really hard. So it was really a nerve-wracking film, and it didn't let you catch your breath, and it was just an assault on you. And it felt like an exhausting experience. So at the end of it, you know, that was a major hit, and I thought that was definitely a new road for the found footage genre. And it was so good because it it felt so realistic in the fact that it was, it actually felt like someone's holding a video camera. Then Rec 2 come along, which was a direct sequel, a continuation of the first one. And once again, they utilised that found footage approach, and they also had a spin on the story. So things were really looking up. I mean, when Rec 3 was announced, everyone was really excited, but unfortunately with Rec 3, they ditched the found footage approach, so it didn't really feel like a Rec film, and a lot of people hated it for that reason, but I'm not going to go as far to say that Rec 3 was a bad film. It was just a standalone film. It didn't feel like this was a franchise anymore. It just felt like it was using the name as a cash grab, and it was kind of like doing a different thing. So I can appreciate the fact that directors are willing to do a different thing, but I think to have Rec 3 as part of the franchise, because it was so different, because it wasn't done in found footage approach, I just don't think it felt like a Rec 3 film. So it was definitely a standalone film, and unfortunately, that is the same with Rec 4. Now it actually feels like the first two were part of a series and then the next two were a different sort of series but under the same name. And that's going to anger a lot of people. And to me that was the most disappointing approach uh, that the film had, is that Juan Belaguero, such a brilliant uh, director, uh, he along with Paco Plaza, they directed the first two movies together. And then Paco Plaza did number three and then Juan Belaguero did number four. Now I can appreciate, you know, trying to do different things, but being part of the Rec franchise, I think after number two, it lost all the impact that made uh, Rec good in the first place. So you haven't got the intensity that number one and two had. You haven't got the fast paced action and that's what separated from the others. So what you get with number three and four are generic zombie films and they're zombie films that don't really leave a lasting impact which is a great shame because the first two were so great. So in this movie it is set, I really like the setting on the boat on this ship in the middle of the ocean, it really does have a claustrophobic feeling. And when the zombie sort of uh, infection outbreak happens, I thought the makeup effects were really well done, and it had some pretty good violent scenes in there as well. And it was, it had shades of what made Rex so good in the fast-paced action, but it's never sustained to the point where you feel like it's a brutal assault on your senses. It feels like you know you're not exhausted at the end of it, and so that kind of defeats the whole purpose of what Rex is all about. So Angela Vidal returns for this film. I liked her character in the first movie, and this character. Uh, this case, I thought it was pretty much the same sort of thing. You know, the the, the this backstory to Rec was ma what made it so good. The first one, you think it's rabies, or you know, what is it? Is it something else? And the second one gives you a glimpse into something completely different. But then the third and the fourth one, they feel like they kind of drop the backstory and they're just focusing on what you see, which is a great shame. So I'm not sure what happened. I think it was just a case of trying to do new things. But I thought if if you know if you've got a good recipe for a cake, don't change the recipe because that's what it feels like. It feels like two different films, uh, you know, opposed to the first two films, and that to me was the greatest uh, problem with Rec 3 and ultimately with Rec 4. Now, Rec 4 I think is a better film than Rec 3, so it was very well shot, very well acted, and some of the set pieces were done very, uh, fairly well, and Juan Belaguero does deliver another sort of atmospheric horror film, 
but I just I thought this movie didn't really have a, a purpose. I think it was just once again using the name for a cash grab because it's, it is a generic sort of zombie film. If you're a fan of zombie movies and you want to see uh, a movie on a standalone basis, then Rec 4 is definitely better than a lot out there. But if you're going to have the Rec name, then you've got to be judged under the Rec franchise. And unfortunately, number three and four don't come up to the standard that number one and two had. I thought there were there were some moments in this film that I liked. But unfortunately, it just loses all the flavour that Wreck is all about. And it comes across as a movie that just didn't have much going for it. It just didn't have much of a backstory. And it just felt like an empty sort of experience. And it's an experience that I was expecting better coming from such a good director as Juan May Belaguerre. So overall, for Wreck 4, definitely a disappointing end to the franchise. I'm going to give it two and a half stars. Alright guys, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching movies and I'll see you later.